Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. So we're with the hooligans again today. It seems that the destruction of those mechs the other day pissed a few people off. And they're actually headed over to our base right now to take us out. So with all the action that's been going on in this valley, we spent some time erecting some walls around our facility here that we're doing the doing some digging at. And right now both cyclones are in for repair, so we had to pull out um, our yes, um, new fire starter that we managed to put together. This, there's not much on this. We got three flamers, two medium lasers, and an ER small, and some bolt-on rock, rockets, and that's about it. Maxed out armor, so it's not bad. We decided to give it to, to Spaniel here. Um, we got a hunchback out here. I don't know. Urban tank, it looks like. Is that a panther? No. What is that? Is that a grasshopper? I think it is. So this is a three skull base defense. So let's see what we're up against. That's interesting. What's this guy here? No idea. All right. Well, we got we better close with these guys. I have no idea where the reinforcements are going to come from, but we know they're going to get some. So let's get up here. On the move. I wasn't sure if I was going to bring everybody. I was going to bring just the Max, and then one of our pilots was out. So I'm like, okay, well we'll leave the, we'll leave both of our uh, cyclones at home, and we'll bring out the fire starter this time just to see how it does. Haven't had a chance to run this yet. Ready for orders. I'm thinking about making it a stealth stealth starter. So I've got some chameleon armor. I just got some stealth armor. So I'm thinking about putting some stealth armor on it to see if we can get it to like, I don't know, be <laughs> stealthy. I guess get in close uh, and um, in. you know at least stay under the radar till it can get in close and. Um, Use it as as a uh, um, what do you want to call it a uh, companion for the uh, swordsman. Target acquired. But we got to get a pilot for it. That's the first thing. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative did those guys damage. just go into the trees. They did. Ah, oh, we didn't need those anyway. Look at the floating. <laughs> yeah, you better run. What do you need? Alright. OG fire starter. Let's get along the road here. Get got along, it. little no doggy. Now oh, we got some shooting to do too. I want to get on these guys real fast and try and take them out. Man, we're not even going to hit nothing. So, we're just going to go like this. And... Maybe there. Acknowledged. Something like that. I don't know if those guys will stick around there or not, but they might. Yeah, man. Hammer them. Shoot them if you got them. You're going to need to move a lot more than that if you want to stay yep. alive, buddy. Uh, let's go here. I'm not going to shoot this turn. Don't want to shoot our, any, any of our guys in the back here. I really hope this Thunderbolt's not too out of position when the reinforcements arrive. Receiving you. Uh, let's get you... I guess behind the wall. Roger. Full speed. And since we don't have a lot of ammo, I'm going to hold off on the first turn. I think we've got, got what, 40, 60, 120. So we've got 10 turns of firing. So we can fire this turn. Question is, what do we fire? Airburst? Anybody grouped up? Nobody's grouped up. No idea what that is. Nah, they might get... You know what? Nope, I'm going to hold on to it. We might get aircraft in the next wave, and I want to hang on to that. I mean, I could shoot something else, but... Uh, it's weird, because if I had lots of ammo, then sure. Oh, it's a thumper version. If I had lots of ammo, then sure, but... Commander. I don't, so I think we're going to use you early. Thank you. 
going full throttle. We're going to use you early, I think. And my reason for that is I don't want to be sucked too far in on this side. Oh, looks like an M1. I don't want to get too sucked in on this side. Um, because I know reinforcements are coming. This guy's got lousy ammo too, you know? It's like, I really need some better vehicles. I thought I had, I guess I got chaff. Yeah, let's just hold off. I do not have a lot of ammo. That's the worst place that guy could have laid that fire. Yeah. This whole place is going to be covered in fire soon. If we don't kill that guy soon. I, do I want to go after him right away or do I want to kill this? <sighs> what do you got for weaponry here? Energy. Thousand armor. This guy's giving us his side. I say we go after the... Um, I'm going to call him a fire starter because that's what he's doing. He's just starting fire like crazy here. Because this whole area is just going to be covered in fire in a minute. Like in three turns, there's, there's going to be like fire everywhere here. So let's get rid of this guy. Um, let's go cluster. Doesn't matter what we use because we got enough of it. Either way. Okay, good start. Who's up? Receiving you. Architect. Huh. Marsden. AC-10. That's friggin' lot of armor. We're not killing that guy with this thing. Can I get... Ah, shit, they're gonna chase me if I do that, though. Will they? This thing usually stays under the radar so well. Like, nothing really sees it to be too much of a threat. We could park over here. Actually move there? No. Let's park right here. Going full speed. Puts us in strike range for next turn. That's easily a back shot. What do you need? I need you to get up here because I want you to smash that uh, Marsden. We don't do a lot of damage for a melee mech, but hopefully we can do some good damage against this vehicle. I can't hit the thumper, so I'm going after the grasshopper. Orders? All right, Trike. Um, that's a back shot. Gonna make us hot, but I'm okay with that. Ah, god damn it. Not bad, huh? Let's go with the chaff. Fire it on. That guy's gonna survive this. Aye, aye. Let's get you into position to go after this uh, grasshopper when he fires. And we're gonna make sure we don't get overheated here. Although I think I will fire both rockets off on this guy. No short range missiles remaining. We're doing lousy here, like really lousy. Bing, turret's up. Okay, mortar turret. Is that what that was? Or is that Lerms? LRM turret. Nice shooting. Reporting heavy damage. We're gonna barbecue his ass and molasses next turn though. We'll get sniper. You better back up. Nice that we're gonna get hunchback parts out of this. So we got sniper. 
pair of LRM 15s. Streak sixes. That might be nice if they show up behind us. And where's the last turret? Is it in? There it is. Heavy command turret. Barrage, Narc Lancer, ELRM 5. Okay, well. Garbage turrets. Okay, um. Yep. I blame the, uh, lack of time to get everything up and running. Alright, let's get a solid green line on that, All um, right, full speed. On that thumper. Um. Let's wind it up. We haven't got any recoil, so we might as well use it. Putting one in the back. That's a lot of damage, but not enough to kill. We got mortar. Oh, that's nice. How do we hit that side? Oh, because we're at the back. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, man. Finish him off. We got air burst. Well, I don't know if I use that, though. Incendiaries. My turrets. Um, What's up, boss? Okay, we can, might as well launch the mortars now, or the LRM first, and then the mortars. So let's go with incendiary. Ah, uh, I don't have any idea how much damage. Let's go with incendiary. Screw it. I don't know how much damage we need to do. And I missed it with everything. Yep, need to work on our pilots. <sighs> okay, well, I think it's going to be airburst. Actually, let's go with Commander. Um, go out to this guy. Two airburst and one flare, because that'll help us to spot the hunchback. Copy that. Not enough to kill. Fine. Beautiful. Alright, that was a streak. There's the buffer. I took a little bit. Did he take any heat damage? That's the question. Uh, I don't know. Alright, who's up? Who's up? Standing by. You're the spaniel. You're my spaniel. Get into here. On my way. So. He's going to go before anybody else does. Even if I do a uh, offensive push, he's still probably going to go before us. So let's just shoot him. we got a better chance just to hit him. Target locked. Alright, a little bit of fire on him. He's not going to be able to move very far. Alright, not going with the peeps. It's too hot for him. It's he's still over though. Nice. Excellent. That's full speed, huh? <laughs> sure. Alright, let's just drop some acid on this guy. Leave the pulse lasers off. Ooh, we got three hits. That's nice. Good to go. Alright, we're gonna go here. Location confirmed. God, the stick legs on that thing are hilarious. Okay. Um, leave that off. Leave the uh we'll leave that ch chaff on. And we'll hit this guy with some incendiary here. I'll make him unstable. Almost. Almost. Yeah. Go right here. Roger. Let's have a chance to shoot our own guy. Let's make him unstable. Two flamers, medium lasers, cluster ammo. Yep. Roger. Nice. Oh yeah. I wonder if we use the uh, galleon now. I mean, we could go after the hunchback with it. I already only need one hunchback part. Or is it one Orion part? I can't remember now. I think we, uh, you know what? We should be able to get that hunchback. What do you need? 
I'll do what I can. I'll do what I can. You'll do what I tell you. Okay, I'll leave this off. And these off. Yeah, we'll leave them off, keep our heat down. And I'm going to wind the rack up, and we're just going to go after this grasshopper. Or do we go after the, um, what do we got here? 78 on the vehicle. That could open it up for a quick strike from the, um, the galleon. Not as good on this guy. Although we spent our time shooting at this guy. Let's do it. We might get the knockdown. I'm going to fire. Uh, our rack will be down next turn, but that's fine. Okay. I'm on. Our turrets might Board give us the knockdown. Hit. Turrets might give us the knockdown. Orders. Uh, we're going to reserve you. I'm still not 100%. I want to use them, but I'm not 100% sure here. We can probably, we might be able to get behind the hunchback. I'm going to hold off on the galleon, I think, until we know where the enemy's coming from. Receiving you. And what they are. Uh, let's go with incendiaries on this guy. Come on. Bail out or fall over. One of the two. Bail, 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 bail. Ah! Usually when it hangs like that, they bail out. That's why I was like, do it. Just bail out, damn it. Waiting for orders. You know you want to. Um. Flare on standard. Now it should knock him over. That hit something. Light oh damage. yeah. Firm. Yeah, baby. That should be at least four parts of that guy. We get seven salvage out of this. Yes, Commander. Stay right there. Got it. Find out shortly. At the end of his next turn, we'll find out where the enemy's coming from. Okay, the Mars then turned his side to us, which is good news for us. I don't think we can get enough damage on them though. And I got a feeling the enemies ah, fuck here they come. Looks like on the left. Reinforcements. We got some there. I think somebody Okay, I thought I saw flashes here. Chaparral, wheeled scout, plainsman, a warrior, but there's gotta be four more somewhere. Um we're on round four now. So, um, who's up? We're reserving. I want to see what we're up against here. Yeah, there's guys right here. I knew it. Galleon's in the worst place it could possibly be. Merlin. Chameleon. We could kill a chameleon in one shot. See, this guy didn't fire at this guy because the galleon... And Whitworth. It's not, I mean, it's got two machine guns in the rocket packs, but it doesn't, nobody sees this guy as a threat. It's the, probably one of the most dangerous vehicles on the board because it can get a one shot kill if you get it in the right position. Merlin has got, that could be a kill on the Merlin. There's another hunchback though. It's the disco back. All right, that's our target. That's our target. When do we go? We go in 17, so we go before the disco back. And the rest of these guys. Okay. Fair enough. Commander. Uh, I, w I still want you up this way. But do we reserve... Till everybody else shoots. Yeah, we do. That's the 4G. We wait. Awaiting orders. Let's reserve you. The galleon can't go. Shit. Here's my fear now. 
Galleon can't go because if he does go, it's going to be shooting against a, uh, a mech that's got like spawn protection. Yep. Did I just... Oh shit, I did. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot, baby. And it's gonna get me killed now. Um... Doesn't say I'd be fire aff affected by fire here, even though technically I should be. Let's get into here. We'll see. Let's move. Doesn't say I'm standing in fire. Damn it! Now I'm committed. Um. Go for distraction, I guess. Let's go for distraction. Leaving the rotary off to get our uh, recoil down. No streaks. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. That was a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. I should have gone against these guys. That was a huge mistake. And reserving this guy was a huge mistake, too. I didn't think I was reserving him. Her. They. Yeah, the first turn spawn protections are really tough. Especially when it's reinforcements. And they drop pretty much right on top of you. Like, that wasn't right on top of us, but it's pretty darn close. What do you need? They might as well be on top of us. That guy's going on 16. We going. So has he gone already? I guess he has. So we. What? I can't melee him? It's saying I can, but it's not letting me. I'm missing something. That's fine. Um, let's put ourselves in position to do other stuff Understood. next turn. Moving fast. And get on this vehicle. Because of the great chances to hit. We could just fire everything, and I think we probably should. Going with slug, though. Yeah, it looks like an M1. Probably bad. Good hit, man. Ah, nice. Good start. Almost all of it in the side, too. Beautiful. Now, as long as our turrets don't shoot us in the back. I think they're gonna... Those, I think those mechs are gonna just ignore the galleon and move in and try and go after the buildings. Go. Can you... Yeah, see... Let's do... Move back here. Roger that. I'm just gonna brace. I'm not gonna shoot anything yet. This turn is just a waste for for shooting against these guys. I wonder if I should um, bring the galleon over to kill the other the, the, this first hunchback. Where are you going? Like if we can kill this guy, the the guy that spawned in first get rid of him, get rid of the tank, then we can just focus on each side as opposed to being surrounded in an arc. Good to go. That's tricky. Nope, that should be a sprint. As far as we can get up on this guy. Copy that. 
Because if he moves next turn, I want to be able to at least melee him. Let's get on this guy. That's yeah, some good damage. I hope the turrets don't shoot these guys, though. Especially that thumper or the sniper turret. But worth. Watch the flank. Okay, take it back. Somebody likes the galleon. Somebody likes that galleon. Besides me, that is. All right, we got a bit of better, a bit better chance to hit now. All right, twenty-two. Tell you what, let's just um, aye aye. Looks like we have a direct line of sight here. Let's see what we got here. 28. Got a fair amount of armor, but let's just go after we might, we might get the rotor. Okay, not bad. Not bad. I don't think we hit the rotor at all, though. Mostly side. Alright, that's good, though. Might mean we can clean it up next turn. Okay, who's going? T turn 12. That guy's already gone, so somebody over here. Plainsman. Who do we have left? We got the... Phoenix, don't we? Yeah, Phoenix and... Waiting for order. The Galleon. I mean, we could just smoke this guy. Yeah, I think the disco back is probably a little scarier. Let's clear this guy out. Let's give it to him then. Do we need to go with everything though? 20 and 60? Do we hold on to a couple of rockets? A couple of 10s maybe? We go with the 60, that's like, if 70% of them hit, 36, 240 roughly damage? And the machine guns, let's leave two 10s off. I'm interested to see here. Target lock. Nope, should've gone with them all. Fail out, fail out, fail out, nope. I'm out of short range missiles. Maybe we'll get initiative on him next turn. Yeah, man. Yeah, we needed the, we needed ah uh, we just missed that torso with the ammo. Well, it's got no ammo, but yeah, just shy. Did a fair bit of leg damage and almost no arm damage. So I mean I don't know. I guess we should have gone with it. Now I know. Yeah, Commander. For next time. Okay, let's get out of those guys' direct line of sight. Get on this vehicle. And see if we can finish it up here. I don't think we can, but... I think we're going to go with everything on it, though. Chaff, incendiary rockets for better damage. And... Yep. Targeting. Okay, the laser hit. That's, that's the most important thing, I think. There it goes. Up goes the weasel, baby. Reporting. Enemy vehicle eliminated. All right. I'm at a short range missile. <sighs> now what? Let's not get too far out of position. We're going to move to here. Drop our heat. We got a 6-9 movement on this fire starter. So maybe we can swoop in some for some back strikes. I don't know. Not a lot of firepower, but we got good movement. Gotta get a double heat sink kit though. I don't think it has one. 
Or if it does, it certainly needs a lot more double heat sinks. No, I don't think it does actually. Nice hit. As long as our turrets keep that up, I'll be happy. So, who we got first? Trout first again. I'm gonna get her on the back of the uh, hunchback. I think Trout could probably take this yeah. hunchback on. Ah, shit. She's like, like no uh, heat sinking, though. Let's get in like this. Sixty with slug. We'll switch to this, and then we'll drop. Let's just go this route. Copy that. Okay, a little bit of heat on it. Not a lot. Not enough to even push it over the line to get into the uh, red there. All right, shooting the vehicles. It's fine. Standing by. As long as they ain't my vehicles. Once again, you're horribly out of position. This thing has got no speed. I've been trying to get a speed increase on this, but I, I don't know. I need to find like a um, super supercharger or something like that. Um, I mean, I gotta remember to use the hot seat cockpit more too, right? So that's the other thing. I keep forgetting I have it because, like I said, I'm not yep. really a big melee mech guy, so. All right, let's get into this position. Heading out. Since we don't have speed. All right, we can use the full rack. LRMs, yep, and yep. Welcome to the fight, baby. And you're dead. He's giving us this back next turn. I don't know why he's not shooting though. I'm starting to question, like it's... I know they're still working on the AI and trying to avoid, you know... Oop, there goes one of our vehicles. Having uh, like too much heat and things like that, but I'm finding that the, some of the mechs just aren't shooting either. Receiving you. Which is not a good thing, right? Alright, we unloaded on the other guy. So let's just go... I'm here. And then let's shoot at... this guy. Drop a little heat. And... yep. On it. Nice. Hopefully our turrets can finish him up. I want all these guys dead. I don't want any of them living here. Commander. All right. Um, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna kick, and we're gonna turn off. So this is the. How much heat is this? Six. How are we doing? We're okay. Let's just go with the flamers for this one. We'll heat him up. Attempting physical attack. Nice, 37. Not a lot, but whatever. Excellent. So he's not moving anywhere next turn, really. He's mine to kill. Arrow on who? Oh, sleep near. Nice shot. That was a nice shot. This friggin' this guy here is drunk as hell right now. What are you up to, you bastard? Still shooting my buildings. You guys don't have a hope in hell. They gotta kill f five buildings to win, and they don't they don't have the juice to do it. Yeah, it's weird. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm finding that the AI's choice in targets is starting to, to wane a little bit. They still do dogpile, 
But they dogpile weird targets like that one match fighting, like the last one fighting the hunter. Just constantly shooting at the hunter. Or just because the vehicle's got the name of Hetzer, they just constantly target it. It's a weird... I don't know. Good to go. Um... Wish you had fire and maneuver, Location but you don't. So we'll just move over here. If it stands by itself, it gets the rockets. Shredded. That's a kill. I'm out of SRN. You are. Follow the leader. Seventy percent. Let's take the shot. They all hit, and goodbye. That was the left torso. Alright. I didn't think it was going to hit the left left side, but... Standing by. Whatever. Okay, we know what we're going after. This guy. Mortars firing. Oh, yeah. That should probably do it, I hope. Yeah. Hit the ground vehicle a little bit, too, I think. One less vehicle. Excellent. Don't even bother shooting for that guy. There you go. Look at that. That was a beautiful angle. <laughs> I wonder if the uh, yeah the pilot of that saw that coming. He's just like, oh shit. All right, Whitworth, we got a rotary jam. It's fine. We'll fire everything else though. Aye aye. Wow, that was uh, thrilling. Two missiles in the tag, huh? Thanks for showing up. Okay, so if I turn the hot seat on. So that's a walk. And there's the sprint. Get into there. Going full drop. And we're gonna put acid on this guy. Because this is the guy I'm going to melee. Leave these off. Ah, shit, I should probably leave everything off. Yeah, we'll leave it all off. Because we need the speed for next turn. What do you need? You know what I need. Question is... What does this guy here need? I think he needs a little bit of this. He needs a little love. So we're just going to give it to him. He gave us his back, so let's uh, let's just take it. I have the advantage. Yeah, he had destroyed. an AC-20. Alright. Hey, he didn't even use it. I don't know. I don't- I don't know why they don't use them. Heavy hits, this is the second mission in a row now that they've decided to not use the AC-20s. Orders. Like, the la you know, I mean, you guys saw it the last mission. Oh, yeah. They had, they had what, like, five in total? And they only got off one shot. Oops, follow the leader. Let's go on the other guy. Yeah, Whitworth. Whitworth deserves it. He wants some love. Here it comes. One last target. Here I am thinking that Ready for orders. the follow the leader, it's either all or nothing, right? So, um, where am I putting you? Let's park over here for now. On my way. It's either all or nothing, so I'm thinking, yeah, you know, like, at 40%, 44% chance, knowing my luck, most of the time I just miss, right? I'm ready so, for orders. All right, let's get out. Oh, it's all indirect, huh? Oh, this guy's backed up. All right, well, give me the opportunity to drop some heat. Let's go ahead and put... So this is Plainsman LRM. This guy's the scarier guy, I think. The uh, Artemis. Some chaff on him. Yeah, but usually, like, those, like... I don't know. I find anything below 70%, I just assume is going to be a miss. Because there's been so many, like, 
matches that I've played where there's like 70% chance to hit, and I'm like, yeah, we'll get that. Yeah, that should be no problem. And then just not get it, and I'm like, ah, really? Flamers only. Just warm this guy up, keep him out of the action. Alright, one's fine. One's fine. Alright, you're gonna be on this guy. We'll go two air, air burst. And one inferno. Let's keep him in the fire. I'm black on AC2. I don't know. Those airburst. It's weird. They feel like they're OP to me. I'm not overpowered, but more powered than they should be. Um. But I don't know. I, I like the airburst, and I don't like the airburst at the same time. Because it scatters the damage, but then you get those vehicles or mechs that have got like an open side that's not towards you. And you either mortar or air, like if you airburst them with the mortars, then, um, you know, there's a good chance that you can uh, take the side. Even if it's facing away from you, which is kind of cool. Alright, come on, finish this up. Let's go, guys. Three more. We got like four rounds. <laughs> Three rounds. Four rounds. Yeah. Commander. They went down pretty quickly. Uh, let's not get too too close, but close enough. Wait, that guy goes on 19, right? And you go on 16. So let's just make it so that Confirm. he's not going to be doing anything. We're on fire, but then again, so is this guy. Firing on target. Two hits. All right. Guy's not doing anything this turn. Commander? Alright, Trike. Um, where was the. Is it the linebacker I was seeing? Probably. Oh, there we go. On my way. Double time. Alright, we're not going to be able to shoot much here, I don't think. I want to keep my speed up. I think I'm going to go. I'll go this route. It's a little better, I think. Let's just go improve. Better chance to hit. I know I've said it before, but... Yeah? Everything about this game, the sound effects... Like, from the sound effects right down to... You know, um... The, like, the like graphic effects, everything Technology. about this game is just so glorious. I love it. It pushes all my buttons. Because I don't really have the hands to play like online. Uh, like MechWarrior Online. I'm just not fast enough to do all that, what I need to do. and dexterous enough with my hands to be able to, to do everything I need to do. Firing. To play that game well. Um, this is like perfect for me. Alright, what are you doing? Nice. That's helpful. All right, we're going to get a melee attack in here. Not with you. Let's reserve you. There you go. Yes, Commander. All right, cockpit hot seat. Let's turn you off. Are we in range for an attack? We are, but charge only. So we're going to do a charge attack. See what happens. On it. I take 10 damage from this. Oh. Yeah, like... He, that's just wrong. Why do I only take 10 damage? Why is it only 10? Ready for orders. You can argue that I'm targeting, you know, oh, I'm aiming for the, it's like I'm, I'm coming in for a low tackle, I'm hitting him at the waist. He's obviously going to take more damage than me because I'm bracing and stuff. But no, there's a difference between human body wearing body armor, like a football player, for instance. And, um, um, yeah. Affirm. And two huge objects, like metal objects, hitting each other. It's completely different. Damn it. And not all mechs are, are made with, like, a, uh, uh, <laughs> an orc spear, like, spear on the top of their head to break through walls and stuff. They're not meant to do that. Melee mechs are, sure. But you have to build it specifically for that. This guy's got a mind dispenser 15 he hasn't used yet. Hang on a sec. 
Yeah, and it's me still harping about uh, Millie Max. I know. Don't have to remind me. Uh, yeah, it's gonna stop. Set those trees on fire if we can. Nice. Take a little damage just sitting in, fl in the flames. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, why is he only taking 10 damage from a charge? Or, like, why am I only taking 10 damage? Ran, ran two cars into each other. <laughs> you know what I mean? Run two cars into each other. Tell you what, you drive into somebody and minimize the damage on your car. Go for it. You could sideswipe them, maybe. But then you're minimizing the damage on them, too. It's the... It, it's... Standing by. Unless I'm missing something completely, and please, please tell me if I'm, like, completely missing Move the point here. But if you build, like, if you build a melee mech that's just designed to run into something, then okay, I get it. It's the same as having a, you know, a truck with a big snow plow in the front. What do you yeah, need? of course it's not going to take damage if it runs into a car, right? Because the plow is going to take all the damage. But the thing is, is that these mechs aren't designed that way. None of them are. Not even the melee mechs are designed that way. There's no big snow plow to absorb the damage. There's no, like, I mean, if you have a combat shield, maybe, I get it. But, you know, short of that, short of having a shield or something, I don't know. Attacking I just can't see it. That should be the knockdown. There it is. Now, on the other hand, I can get behind the kick attacks, right? Make, you know, making somebody unstable. You kick somebody's leg, obviously gonna, it's gonna be a problem, right? Punches can make somebody unstable, sure. Charging into them can make them unstable and most likely knock them over. But the minimal damage that you're doing compared to the damage that you're inflicting on somebody else like that is just ridiculous. Like game damage, that is. Yep. Let's move. I'd be happy if there was like a little toggle that you could toggle, um, uh, toggle, um, charge attacks off. But leave the rest. Um, let's go this... Actually, let's put this down to one. And just try and pot shot that leg. Okay, upper leg destroyed. Nice. Got past the armor. Because I get it. Like, you know what? Awaiting orders. You can't get rid of melee mechs altogether because, yeah, I mean, you're gonna... There's obviously gonna be melee mechs, right? Let's go up to this leg and fire it all. We'll go. Even if he gets up, this guy's doing nothing. Orders. Okay, now if I go to melee now, I don't have a choice of where I can hit though. And it's weird that I can't just punch by standing in location. I gotta like move over a little bit to be able to do it. I understand you can only kick. That makes kind of makes sense to me too. See what happens. Targeting for a physical attack. Yeah. Boy, critical hit. Got past the armor. See ya. Yeah. Alright, Trout, good thing I started moving you this way. We got a couple of turns left. Should be able to get into position next turn. I guess I could have used the ping there, damn it. Well, that was a dumb idea, wasn't it, buddy? That was a dumb idea. Waiting for orders. Okay, let's um close the distance a little bit. Confirmed. And we're not going to move. ECM jamming. Counter jamming protector. Ah, whatever. Let's go. Okay, you're got the hex on fire. Let's put this hex on fire so the. Uh, we can't because we're out of range? Really? Are we out of range? Just out of range. Like, that's the range right there. <laughs> like, right, we're one hex out of range. 
<laughs> Wait, do we have anything that can... No, the chap doesn't spread. It's the flare that spreads. I was gonna say if we have... Oh, I should have just reserved. Oh, well. I didn't know. Um, yeah, if we had flare, I'd use it because it's, it's, it's like AOE. Oh, what's up, boss? Alright, let's hammer this guy. On my way. Let's hammer him! And go in. Yeah, no. Let's go with uh, improved. And we're hitting well with the laser today. And yesterday. Ooh, see ya! That guy's returning to the dropship. Down. See ya! He's, he's like, don't pick me up down here, pick me up in the air! Last ditch effort here. Enemy's last ditch effort. Okay, What's you can up, just brace. Holding and here. you. Inferno and standard again. On yonder guy. Let's get his hex on fire. See that mortar 4 carrier? If it had fast cam and acid ammo, that would be like a nasty combination. Enjoy the... Ooh, that was good damage. Yeah. That's a lot of damage. All right, you're at a range. You have no hope Roger of getting that. into the battle. Digging in. What about you? Do we reserve? I think we're gonna reserve you. Let's see what this guy does. Holding for the right opportunity. Now, digger, can we get? I don't think we can get a shot off. Still got one more turn after this, though. Who do we got next? Uh, Spaniel? Standing by. You're not gonna get any shots off, so you might as well stay there. That'll keep my heat down. It will. Standing by. And trike. Uh, no, you're gonna be a uh, reserve as well. We're gonna let that guy go before us. Yes, Commander. You, on the other hand. I'm trying to add some chaff to this guy. I guess it could have gone in Sidiri. Architect might get Commander. the kill here. Oh, no, you won't. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were Tesseract. I was like, yeah, the mortars will do it. But it isn't the mortars' turn, is it? Don't go away! No! The guy's too smart for our good. Alright. What's up, boss? Um, yeah, we'll go the same. Fire Got two more turns of firing way. like this. Come on, bail out. That hit something good. You're not going to survive this round and next round. Waiting for orders. Going full throttle. I mean, if you keep driving away, there's a possibility. Aye, aye. Very slim possibility. That's a miss. But I think the mortars. Yep. I think Trent will Roger. be able to catch him. I think she'll crest this hill. No matter where that guy goes, she'll... Because he's in the trees now and he's a hovercraft, so he's not going very far. Or the, uh, the base might kill it. Just look at artillery and LRMs, so... Nope. Apparently the artillery's not going to shoot. What do you need? Ah, yes. Let's end this, please. We'll take the heat, I don't care. Good night, sweet prince. I'm taking your shot. Oh, you missed with the with the really with the with the LBX. You missed. Vehicle trash. There it is, folks. Base defended. Mission successful. All right. Well, there was at least opportunity for two parts of a hunchback. So let's have a look. Yeah, I mean that hunchback with the AC20 had like at least maybe three turns of ability to be able to shoot us with it and he never did I don't understand why they're just so afraid if maybe it's like a low percentage chance to hit or something yeah we only got two I'm taking them both though um, there's only one part of the grass or two three parts of the grasshopper what do you know I want to see what's down here though okay there's four parts of a Merlin that's a 60 tonner field scout no arrow four 
Man, I remember when the Arrow 4s would be like, yeah, it's great to get the Arrow 4s, use them indirect fire, and ah, ah, but now they're like, eh, whatever. Whatever, it's an Arrow 4. Thumper. Anything down here we want? 280 core. Which we don't have. Artemis fire control system. We don't have. If there's anything important down here, like double heat sink kits that I want for sure. Remote sensor dispensers. Eh. Eh, counters ECM stealth by one. Components menu to toggle item. Three uses. Eh. You can get bolt on sensor dispensers too, though. Nope. No, uh, crap. Oh well, I was really hoping for the, um, Double heats and kits, but we really trash those mechs, so that's, you know, my bad. Do I take this? I gotta throw it in for now. Um, we could take the four parts of... Two PPCs. Mm. I think we have PPCs, it's just that... The heat, I'm having problems with heat sinking because I don't have the the uh, double heat sink kits to be able to sink them. I mean, we could take three grasshopper parts, I guess. I've never really used the grasshopper. Merlin has got, what, five laser and one missile hard point and one... So it's got... Machine gun and flamer. Wait. Removes the machine gun and flamer. Puts paramedium lasers in. Yeah, so it's really not. But a 70 ton grasshopper, like six laser. Mm. Once again, hard choice. Sure. Take those three. Yeah, I mean, we could take the Arrow 4. What's it worth? A million. I think they used to be like a couple of million. They dropped the price on them. I could take the Mine Dispenser too. We've got a couple of hard points that we haven't been using. Throwing one of these down every once in a while is not a bad idea. I know we've been using them in the Urban Mech playthrough, so I've been shying away from them elsewhere. But every once in a while, it's just... Let's take the 280. Yeah, I think that's the way we go. I wonder if we can get the 280 in the Hunchback. Ah, uh, probably not if we're going to put the uh, HVAC in there. Alright, well, we'll just take, let's take this. Alright, a couple of Chaparral parts. Chameleon part. Marsden's Merlin part. Plainsman Urban Tank. Yeah, AC-10. We have any of these? We got two, so we can sell that one. Small laser. We don't need SRM4. Mm, let's hold on to it. Thumper artillery. We've got one, so we can sell that one. 450,000. That's nice. Get rid of the armor. 180. We'll hang on to because we don't have any. Heavy jump jet. We'll hang on to. Standard engine. Uh, I know I've got a lot of old mechs, so we've got one. You know what? I'm going to hold on to the second one, too. The ammo will hold on to. Machine gun ammo, though. We got one of those. We can get rid of that. Thumper Inferno. We'll hang on to that in case we ever do decide to use an artillery piece. Alright. Alright, let's see if we'll have a quick look here and see if we can put together that hunchback now. Pretty sure we can. Pretty sure we can. Finally. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I know we picked up the old, this, uh, Omnimac, the fire starter. There it is. So we can use the 5N, which is... Downgrades the pulse laser back to a small laser and removes the case to add an extra ton of reloads. Retaining the double heat sink. So it does have double heat sink. So I think that's the one we want to go with. The 5N. So we've got... Yeah, we've got just enough pieces. Because that's the double heatsink version. The rest of these aren't. I don't think that any of these have double heatsinks. 
Greatly increased heat buildup. That's the that's the uh, disco ball version. That's the AC20 version, and that's the old one, which is the I think has the AC10. No AC20. No AC10. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Medium and heavy rifles. Ooh. All right. We'll grab this guy. Let's get it ready. I don't really have the uh, sea bills to get this ready just quite yet. Oh, we've got 2.3 million. Got to make my financial report though, so that's half of that gone. That mech you wanted is back online. A little less than half. Grab that. 3057, eh? All right, let's have a look at it here. Let's hope we get something back. It takes, it's, it's so weird with five pieces, it just feels like it's taking forever to build any kind of mechs. And I used to, to think I used to, oh crap, really? <laughs> Fat figures. The thing I used to play with eight, needing eight mech parts and then not choosing any mech salvage. Man, that was brutal. But it was fun, I gotta say. All right, so, um, just for interest's sake, we got an AC-20 Federated too. But I'm not interested in that, I'm interested in this. Same weight, better range. I'm just going to do this for the sake of argument because I just want to see what it's going to take. Where's the HVAC ammo here? Is it down lower? Oh, there it is. Just for interest. Actually, let's leave them in here. Um, no, I'm going to split them up. Split them up. So if we lose one, we don't lose the other. And if we lose the ammo, then we, at least we have some ammo. And if we don't, if we lose uh, this, then at least we have the ammo in case we get another one. So now we need... The ability to like get as much in here as possible. Oh, you have double heat sink kit. And radical prototype double heat sink kits. What do you know? Um, I think I've just been refusing to use them for the playthrough. Um, what do we got here? So you're a 50 ton. I wish I had a 250, but I don't. 240. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't give us much for supporting weapons, but and we need to max out the armor still. Especially with this weapon in here. So it lives... Uh, oh, that's actually not that bad. That leaves us with like two and a half tons. Three tons if we drop this. Advanced targeting computer. Breaching shot. I think that's got to go in there. Or we could go with the double... Uh, increased accuracy here. Overall. I think the breaching shot's pretty nice. Uh, I don't have any like light engines or anything like that I can put in here though. Lots of spiked helmets, pirate jammer. Might as well throw a pirate jammer in here. So you got better sensors. No, not really. Um, not sure why I got primitive sensors kicking around, but whatever. Any. Uh, okay. Spiked helmet. Um, whoa, minus the gunnery and piloting and the tactics. Let's not put that in. Um, that's just bad news all around. Could drop the core a little more, though. We want to put something else in. I mean, we could put two... Well, what do we got for heat on this guy? It's 16. So we've got... I got so much gack in here that I just haven't used, like set up to use um, can put the two medium lasers back in and then we're down in heat we need to add one heat sink there was a reason why I haven't been oh I know why I haven't been yeah because my engines aren't big enough and I don't have enough double heat sinks to put these in that's what it is even with the pro double heat sink I mean I could put it I could put it in this mech Pro double and the regular double heat sinks. So we could do this. Right, and then add one double one double heat sink. Um, here, I guess. Then we're like way over cooling. I don't know. Still feel like I'm lacking a lot of like a ton of stuff here. Every playthrough is different, and that's what I love about this game. It's just everything is interesting. I mean, what's our speed here? 
Five seven. Now, for AC twenty, I think that's a five eight would be nice. But five seven, I'll take. Recoil a three. So the fact that we can close, I think, is really really important. Eagle probe would be nice too. Kind of ECM in stealth. Bonus to energy. That's all I got. I can't use this. If I can find an auto cannon one, I'll get. I'll grab that. I wonder if we just go minus ten multiplier to the jam chance, which we got a sixteen percent chance. So we'd have a six minus whatever the pilot is chance of jamming. Which isn't too bad, I guess. It's misfiring though, which means it jam which means it damages itself. I'm still gonna use it. If I can find an inner sphere one of these, it's minus twenty percent to jam chance, so we'll, I'll go with that instead. I gotta find something to mitigate the recoil though. Don't know what I'm gonna find to be able to do that. Stealth armor would be nice, but then that means we lose two and a half tons. Um Laser AMS is half a ton. Oh, it's a regular AMS, sorry. Laser AMS is what? One and a half. I mean, we could shed a half a ton of armor off the back. Oh, we don't even have full leg armor. Why does it do that? It's so frustrating. You go max armor and it doesn't max out the armor. Um, it's probably a wise choice. I know I said you want max back armor, but I don't think we have the option right now. Three, four. And then we can add, get these up to there. And then let's add one, two, three, four. I could probably live with that. Yeah, because the laser AMS will go off a lot. And we've got plenty of like heat sinking to deal with that. Now it does say there's something wrong here. Oh, one or more locations that are destroyed. 834,000. 38 days. Let's get her going. Yeah, man. All right, well, what I'll do is I'll play a little bit, hopefully, between episodes, between next time we get these guys and get this hunchback up and running. I want to see how that, that plays out. I'm just, I'm very tempted to just pull the swords without a service. Take the SRM with acid, put it somewhere else. I don't know, maybe I'll stick with it for a little while longer, see how it goes. See how it goes. All right, I'm going to end this, end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.